Well, first of all, Larry, what do you make of the golf course here? And it's important to let people know that uh, you know they're at the President's Golf Club. It's not exclusive. It's open to the public. Well, I mean, I think the whole kind of Bunkport vibe, you know, when you talk about Walker Point, you know, people shouldn't get the wrong idea. This isn't... Um, uh, you know, the great Gatsby, there's not these mansions lining the water here. The whole of the place is, is very laid back. And even, you know, the Bush home, it's certainly a nice home, but, you know, it's a home that a normal person could see themselves living in. You know, it's another nice waterfront home along the coast here. It's not... And a series uh, of cottages. Yeah, it's not a, a you know, a, it's not the James Bond bad guy house. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and, and the golf club is very similar in that, um, you know, as we go around the world playing golf, uh, I mean, the whole golf travel industry is driven by history. You know, you, you play these courses for the most part because they have a story behind them. And, and uh, you know, when the U.S. Open is, is about to start at Marion or, you know, most politicians play at Congressional, you get these idea of these, these courses behind gates that no one can really play. And, and here you can, $75, walk up and play a course that's one of the oldest in the country, 1894, everyone from uh, Babe Ruth to the presidents to Phil Mickelson, who holds the course record at 60, you know, has played here. And you have all these trophies and you have these pictures and uh, all the memorabilia you would have at, at this kind of club, except it's basically a, a porch with a, with a house attached to it. <laughs> yeah, it's a screen door kind of place is the way I describe it. Exactly. And plenty of Bush memorabilia and souvenirs, too. Yes, I mean you can, you know, you're you're wearing the presidential logo there on your on your golf shirt, but um, you know, you also you walk in and you pay a dollar for a cup of coffee and they hand you the little K cup and you make it yourself. You know, it's <laughs> it's that kind of place. The lockers have little uh, you know, hand printed names stuck on them with tape.